What's going on YouTube and what up to the Dragon Squad? I am Ember, the Blaze, and I'm Glacier, the Iceborn, and we are Reaction Dragons, coming to you from the Dragon Slayer. And a quick reminder guys, if you like the vibe, like and subscribe. It doesn't cost a dime, it helps us go full time. Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Thanks so much for the support guys, and I was on the menu for today, Glacier. Oh, we've been looking forward to this one, and it, we actually got caught off guard because me and Ember have been watching side by side this and Umbrella, but it's season finale, dark, episode eight, endings and beginnings. Endings and beginnings. And yeah, I mean, up until about yesterday, I had no idea this was the season finale, so I'm really not mentally prepared for this show. I thought this is gonna have 10 episodes like season one, and I thought we were gonna at least have a couple episodes to get some more answers before we get banged over the head with the finale, but fuck it, ready or not, here we come, because <laughs> that means that we're gonna get a lot of answers this episode. Hopefully, or like, like last season one, it did a lot of questions. Welcome to the future. My brain's not even ready for that. It's still not fully solidified. It's still in a liquid state from the last like three episodes. I mean, yeah. banger after banger after banger. Wait, like, it's like someone said it in the, the comments. They said something like diamond amongst gems or something like that. Yeah, that's a perfect way to describe it. Because all the episodes are fucking great. There's not like one slow episode. But yeah, there's just some that are just like, there's levels of this. Like, sorry, we're like God tier episodes <laughs> of television. Like, shit. But as far as like what we know from the last episode, so we know that obviously. Even though it was accidental, Claudia, in fact, did kill her father, Egon. Um, yeah. And that is the moment Probably. that Jonas took her out of this timeline. So that's the moment where she vanished. Um, where is Jonas taking her? Because I feel like we're literally at the day of the apocalypse. So I don't know if he's gonna, I don't think he's gonna take her to 2020. If anything, I feel like he would take her to 2052. That's what I'm wondering. Yeah. And I wonder how Stranger and Jonas are going to play into this whole thing. Like you said, that you're, I don't know if Martha's dead. My theory, I'm thinking like, I want to say, I want to hope that she's alive. And they just think she's dead. And then she thinks she's dead and there's a tombstone there because of like, I want to be pissed off that we just saw Magnus. I'm assuming that's Francesca as well. Like, how the fuck are you guys alive? And Martha's not there because the, Martha knew about the time machine. And it's like, I'm hoping Ember's not right. Like some dark ass shit happens to her. Like I'm hoping at this point now, like you said, maybe that they're all in the play. They can help prevent it. I don't know, I'm just kind of scared because Martha has been kind of going off on her own and I feel like she's gonna be, cause now that we see the scene where she's laying in bed thinking about Jonas, maybe even the stranger Jonas, strangers thinking about her. So I think at this point they both kind of set aside the fact that they're related and they don't give a fuck. They're just really like, whatever, we have time travel. There's weird things going on in this world. There's <laughs> weird things going on in this world. So I feel like she's still gonna try to like save him or find Jonas regardless of which timeline Jonas she ends up finding, I'm sure she's okay with, but I don't know. I, I'm just kind of scared for what this means because now we know anybody that goes near that power plant is fucked at this point. Yeah. Well, speaking of the power plant, we got fucking Alexander locked up. Yeah, because Alexander's locked up. Because Klaus and, I mean, on the surface, Klaus is at least accusing him of knowing what happened to the real Alexander. I feel like he has to know at this point that his brother's dead. It's been over 30 years. He's pretty much in the same like situation as Mads. You have to assume he's dead at this point. Yeah. So is is Klaus going to be at the plant? Is a question because like is he going to be trying to find proof on him? Like, look, I want to get you dead to right. You're gonna sit in the cell. As soon as I find the evidence I need, you're going to jail. Because I have no idea the world's about that. And is he gonna get, he doesn't have to sniff far. I think if he just starts questioning the, Waller. Waller. Yeah, I can't think of his name. I'll call him Nick Fury. What, Waller? <laughs> yeah, and is that going to prove our theory that the reason, the story behind Waller's eye has to yeah. do with what happened between him and Boris yeah. and the real Alexander. Yep. So hopefully we get a flashback. Yeah. Okay. I'm just wondering, like, also, I mean, another bounce around, like, going back to what you said with Martha, um, how she's gonna feel, like, like, I think it's synced in, like you said, she doesn't give a fuck that, that stranger or they're related or whatever, mm. but does she understand, like, the repercussions, because her mindset, like, is with her mom, her mom's like, we can go get her brother back, she's telling that to Magnus, like, we can go get Mikkel back, like, does she know that, like, the cause and effect of him doing that, that like, Jonas won't exist? I don't know if they've even thought that through, both Martha and her mom, I don't think they thought through what happens if they say Mikkel, I, the... Ramification. I mean, I feel like at the end of the day, Katarina's not gonna give a I shit. Don't, yeah, I feel, I feel like Katarina's like, I'm like, I don't give a fuck because like, that's like a spawn that's related to Hannah and fuck Hannah. And plus, the stranger is Jonas, and now strangers, you know, being kind of creepy trying to hook up with my 18 year old daughter. Like, who's your mom? Hannah? So, Hannah you fucked my child and made you? Yeah, you fucked my child and, and my husband. husband. <laughs> And pretty much, I didn't even know, I, didn't, I haven't even got the story that he went back there and talked this shit in front of my husband too. And that's the thing too, Hannah is off doing some, like I said, God tier pettiness. Fucking Egon, I mean, that's what they're like insinuating that he's gonna, that she's gonna fuck Ulrich's arch nemesis Egon. So what ramifications does that have, if any? What is she gonna do? Is she gonna go bounce around 87 or is she gonna go back? And then when she does go back, Stranger's definitely gonna like put her fucking in check, which is gonna be awkward because like, you're like, my mom, what are you doing? But what if that's always happened? Again, like, I'm under the impression that all of this has already happened. There's no loophole, there's no changing things. The only way I feel like anybody's gonna change anything is that they go and ambush Adam and take that, the fully realized time machine, and they, that way they can go to whatever period they want and actually change them. And I still wanna know if, now I'm confused. I used to think at the beginning of the season we got introduced to Adam and 
No and the whole that whole gang is the like the antagonist and then now I'm thinking like you said with the whole Claudia being the white devil like maybe she's the evil side. Who knows and now with Noah now that Noah knows that Charlotte is in fact his daughter and that she's still alive is Noah now the protagonist because I feel like he wants to prevent the apocalypse unless he's just full of shit and he's just saying that. Or he evil still and Claudia is evil and I want to I kind of like now like Adam's a part of the original squad Magnus is there so it's like can they really be the bad guys like I'm trying to think like, in what terms do you mean the apocalypse? Like, because an apocalypse means like kill everybody on earth or just that town? Because is that what we've seen in 52? Is that the apocalypse? Because there's people still alive. Elizabeth's still alive. I mean, there's people that can survive it because even Charlotte said that anybody that goes into the bunker survives it. So I think it's just meaning like the end of life as you know it. I don't think it's gonna kill every single person. Yeah. For obvious reasons, like you said, the people that are still alive in 2052, but I yeah. feel like anybody that goes in that bunker is gonna survive. I feel like Charlotte's gonna be down there, which means Peter, maybe, maybe not. Um, we know Francesca and Magnus survive, but is that because they go to the bunker or is that because Noah takes them out of the timeline altogether? Yeah, he is gonna take them out down to the bunker, take them out of the timeline. Why wouldn't he take Charlotte? Speaking of Charlotte, we're gonna figure out who her fucking mom is. Yeah, I mean, there's a million questions, because I mean, as far as that goes, I feel like Noah, if anybody, it would be Noah that somehow hijacks Adam's time machine to try to prevent any of this from happening to save his own daughter. But of course, the million dollar question is who is Charlotte's mom? I think we narrowed it down to three suspects and yeah. we could be completely wrong on all three of them. But <laughs> I feel like we have solid ground. Okay, so first off, the, the lady or the girl that we call Scarface because we haven't seen Scarface. her in honestly like two or three episodes. Respect on my name. Until I get her name, you're Scarface. I'm sorry. I didn't make up the name. I'm just calling it how it is. But it could be Scarface still. Because again, we haven't seen her in a few episodes. There's still a chance that she can go through the, the God Particle portal. We still see her like going at it with Elizabeth in the future. So we don't know how that's all gonna play out. Speaking of Elizabeth, it could very well be Elizabeth with some crazy shit where Elizabeth is a grown woman and Noah takes her back to the 70s or whatever, yep. has sex with her, she has a baby, and she names her Charlotte after her mom. And her mom just hasn't been, put two and two together. Yeah, because her mom died in the apocalypse, and then, which I'd be kind of pissed off, like why did Charlotte die in the apocalypse? She has a time machine, you have no one that knows about it, you have daughter bunker. at the time, you have the bunker. That's not the point. The point is, like Amber said, maybe Elizabeth, that's what I'm thinking too, like, names the baby after her mom or dying mom, which Noah doesn't put it together until he gets the missing page. Exactly. And that's why he's reacting. Because I'm trying to think like, unless he's reacting that way, like the only other way I can think is like, remember when Charlotte was taken from him and remember he greets her and he says, I I've been looking for you, you've been right in front of me this whole time. So maybe that he finally realized that it's her. He's like, oh my God, it's her. If that is true, if that's that suspect fucked your granddaughter. Yeah, pretty much to make your mom. I mean, I don't know. That's that's <laughs> one of those Hail Marys. Like, it's probably not it, but if it is, holy shit. And then the third suspect is kind of like another Hail Mary, but it's the only thing I can think of, like, that who would Noah have a relationship with, and that would be Helgi's mom, Greta. Because yeah. you know, Greta is down for whatever. She looks at Noah as this, like, savior. You saved my son, you predicted all this stuff would happen, and I'll pretty much do whatever you want me to, and that includes having sex. So. <laughs> Shit. I mean, I feel like the only way that would work though is if Noah took her out of the 1954 timeline. Because if she aged normally, and let's say that picture that she takes of Noah and Charlotte is in yeah. the 70s, which we're predicting, that'll mean that Greta, at the very best, is probably like in her late 40s, early 50s. And so I don't see it possible for her to be having kids at that age. So that would only make sense if Noah takes her out of that timeline. Yep. But if that's the case, I'm just thinking down the rabbit hole. If that ends up being the case, then that means that Helgi and Charlotte are brother and sister, which is crazy because that's Peter's father. So that means that Peter would be Charlotte's husband and also Charlotte's nephew. They would be the same exact dynamic as the whole Martha, Mickle, and Jonas dynamic. Which I don't know if I'm even ready to think about that right now, but I guess I am because we're talking about I it. I know, yeah. And then you got, I mean, there's like so many other things going on in this show. That's why I love this show. Like you start thinking about the time periods, the timeline. Yeah, you think about like, if that's the case, the ramifications, what about, what does it all mean? It's yeah, like, it all means like the significant, like the importance of each character. Like you can't, yeah. you can't like move anyone off here. It's like, it's kind of like, I also want to find out if uh, Claudia is full of shit. I've seen a world where you don't exist, Jonas. Like, are, did you? Did you? Because how's that possible? How's that possible? All you have to work with is a time machine with your 33 year rule. Because I can agree with you. I can agree with you if you take Jonas out. Like she was saying, like, it's not the fact, like if you remove you now, there's certain things you need to do in stages that have ripple effects, like the butterfly effect. And that, and that like leads to the question, is the 2052 future we've seen, is that a world without Jonas? Or is Claudia full of shit? That's kind of where we're at right now. Like I said, we've kind of like talked ourselves into it. So I guess I'm a little bit more ready than I was <laughs> 10 minutes ago, but I'm still not ready, but we're gonna do this anyway. Glacier, are you ready? It is what it is now, I'm ready. All right guys, and as usual, just take a couple seconds, hit the like button down below. The impressions do lead to more views, and you can go in and catch the reaction to episode one of season three on our Patreon. With that being said, let's fucking go. Oh shit, oh, it looks like feature. the... Like 2052. Oh, Elizabeth. Oh shit. Oh shit, you've been hiding something since you were a little girl? Is it that picture? Oh, family picture, but... Yeah. Yeah, but what 
sends her down this dark path. All right, so no I think she lost her family. Photograph. Oh shit. Did we just. <gasps> Is that older her? Did we just confirm it? I think we did. Get the fuck out of here. Hold on here. Ooh! Is that her? That's her, right? I feel like it is. We're getting to the beginning of the episode? Yeah, look. This... Wow, they're just gonna drop it on us? And she doesn't know that's Charlotte? <laughs> ah! <does> end this <coughs> oh my god. I think they just confirmed that. Oh my god. I'm still like in shock real quick. I'm trying to... It's not... I'm waiting for this fucking intro to kick in. Sagen, wer ihre Mutter ist. Genauso wenig wie ich, was deine Bestimmung ist. Was ich heute tun muss. What do you have to do today, Noah? Ow, my head hurts. Oh no. Wenn du wissen würdest, was ich jetzt weiß, dann würdest du nicht mehr tun, was du tun musst, damit ich zu diesem Augenblick gelange. Es ist alles vorbereitet. Holy shit. Everybody's ready? We're about to set the shit in motion. Fulfill your destiny. You become What are you guys about to do? Magnus, like, I don't trust your head. Do they not, I feel like, do they not know about the time machine? I have a headache. I need this intro to kick in. Stop. Just, thank you. Let me breathe. Oh, oh, at least that's one theory we got right, fuck. That was literally spaghetti at the wall. I'm thinking like, I'm trying to think how the logistics make sense. Like I said, there's a little bit of time travel, just as long as she's an adult. So when did she get fucked up? Because she wasn't fucked up in that picture. Yeah, maybe she. Maybe it's not the apocalypse, maybe it's something else. Like some darker shit happens to her. Stop saying dark because the show's called Dark. It's... It is what it is. <laughs> They're gonna start the season finale off like that though? Uh, my head, that literally gave me like, I feel like a migraine. That actually fucking hurt my head. Well. We're taking pop an aspirin because we're just getting started, baby. Für den Kreislauf nicht durchbrochen. Du hast gesagt, wir können eine kleine Komponente in der Gleichung ändern, dass er, dass ich beim nächsten Mal Erfolg haben werde. Dann kommen und damit die ganze Welt. Is this one of those things where he like causes the plane to explode, but again he doesn't realize he's causing it to happen by trying to stop it? I feel like Adam would know. Damn. Wissen Sie, was das hier ist? Ein Durchsuchungsbefehl für das Kernkraft. Oh no, do not go to the power plant. Vielleicht kann ich nicht beweisen, dass sie meinen Bruder umgebracht haben. Aber ich weiß nicht, was hier passiert. Shit. Either way, you're going to jail. But you're really not because we know what's happening. But then, why is he like so shaken? Like, du musst mich hier rauslassen. Es geht nicht. Vielleicht ist es gut so. Vielleicht ist es gut, dass jetzt endlich alles rauskommt. See, he's guilty. Can't keep living like this. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Boris. Now he's like showing so many like signs of guilt too, like rising up. Like he's he's all his, the he chickens are coming home to roost, as they say. Who's this? Oh shit! Was willst du? Yeah. Du musst mit mir kommen, bitte. Ich bin schuld dran, dass alle sterben. Was? In ein paar Stunden geht hier alles hoch. In a few hours? Yeah. Zukunft fängt an. Ein neuer Zyklus. Got lighting cues that moment. Ominous as fuck. Oh, damn. Was ist falsch? I mean... The kids. Yeah. I mean, it's fair that she knows, though. It's fair that she knows, yeah. but I don't want her here. I can't believe it. I saw you. You've seen it happen. Hey, you were right. Oh, no. Don't take her by force. That's not healthy. Oh, no. Like, you don't have a choice in this matter. He has Boris's gun. Fuck. So is he, he's changing it, right? I don't know. I mean, like, is, he said, I saw it happen before. He's trying to change it, but it's another bootstrap paradox. Who knows? And he's the one actually causing it. Fuck. I see I sound like a broken record. Is this the different one? Why did Noah not tell me what I should do with it? Why did he tell me this? Tell me this thing. Tell me not what I should do with it. It's shown how it works. Maybe that's your only job. I don't want to die. What do you mean? Oh, shit. Where do you want to go? Let's go to the hospital. I mean, if they can get a hold of Hannah or Katarina, they're the only two like saviors right now to get these. Hannah's I don't know where the fuck right now. Yeah, she come back. This is bag right there, right? Yep. Does he have notes about the apocalypse? Well, that's a life for the cave. They're gonna send her back to the cave. Oh no, the map. I haven't seen this map in a minute. I feel like it's only gonna lead her back to the cave or to the plant. Which they're both like right next to each other, so it's fuck either way. Da draußen gibt es zwei Seiten. Adam und Sigmundus wollen eine neue Welt erschaffen. Du und ich, wir wollen diese retten. Wer ist Adam? Me. Oh, he has a, he has that. Dang, you're right. He has oxygen, oxygen machine. Yep. To breathe. 
I mean, is, is something going to happen to the stranger where he gets those scars? Or is that going to happen until later, later? Or is anything happening different? Because Bartosz is like, this, uh, this is all different. Damn, he's got her at gunpoint. Oh, he's got her in the bunker. Shit. You're going to survive this. Like, I'm not having you die in front of me this time. Oh, that's the thing. This is all. This has all already happened. She died because she's in this bunker. She can't because the bunker was fine. Unless she escaped somehow. Well, she's not good. She's just like, I don't want to be kept here against my will. I want to choose what happens. Yeah, she's like, you're not going to kill me. That defeats the whole purpose. Yeah. Huh, yeah. <laughs> I'm taking matters in my own hands. He has to have hope. No, this is what I'm afraid of. She's gonna go look for the younger Jonas. Alexander had was einbetoniert. Radioaktiven Müll. Oh yeah, the god particle. Drums of it. That löst es aus. Das hängt alles zusammen. Er hat gesagt, das alles hat etwas mit dem AKW zu tun. Jonas wusste das. Du hast Jonas gefunden? Nein, er ist zurückgereist aus der Zukunft. Try to keep up. Look, he doesn't know what the fuck is going on. What? You should have the future. We have to go. So, Jonas, you travel from the future. Are you fucking right now? Everybody's going to the planet. It's so bad. Nur die Leute im Bunker überleben. They're gonna let her out. Oh my god. Because Elizabeth has to live, obviously. Oh, they're gonna open the door. Martha's gonna dash out. out. See, I feel like Stranger had to know this. Like you had to have known, right? He no, says, he doesn't I, know. Because he says, he's living, like, he's, he's living the moment now. Yeah, he's in the moment. He just knows what's gonna happen. He found Martha's dead body, which means Jonas the, is the one with the scar that's next. Because he has the memory. He has the memory. He that Jonas is gonna find it. Fuck. Ist schon seit den 90ern nicht mehr in Nutzung. Das möchte ich mir gerne ansehen. Das kann man sich nicht einfach so anschauen. Reststrahlung. Ich würde aber auch nicht davon ausgehen, dass sie da irgendwas finden. Oh. I'll put on the suit. I'll put on the suit. Yep. Fuck, he's gonna be at ground zero. All those he's drums dead. of God particle. Oh, so f oh, she can see him grow up. Yeah, cause she didn't get to. She's gonna vicariously see his childhood. Fuck! <laughs> vicariously see his childhood. This is gonna make her want to get her son back even more. Crazy, that picture right there, it's spinning image. The fucking casting. Just high school. Ich Mikkel damit zurückholen. Selbst wenn ich sie erkläre, es ist unmöglich. Es ist gar nicht, dass er zurückkommt. Wenn es dich dann nicht mehr gibt. Ich wünschte, Shit, she does know. Yeah. She, really, she figured it out. Aber ich kann nicht sterben, weil meine Zukunft bereits existiert. Aber Adam ist der Endpunkt. Vielleicht kann ich nicht verhindern, zu dem zu werden, was er ist. Aber ich kann das, was aus mir geworden ist, stoppen. And transition. Knew it. <laughs> Those are missing pages? Like... Du hast mich benutzt. Du hast mich all diese oh, shit. Dinge tun lassen. Aber ich weiß jetzt, was ich zu tun habe. You kill me, another one of me will just appear in my place. Du hast immer noch nicht verstanden, wie dieses Spiel gespielt wird. Worauf wartest du noch? He's literally like Kane. <laughs> Motion. Sind wir wirklich frei? Erst, wenn man bereit ist, das zu opfern, was einem das teuerste ist. Shit. Oh. Charlotte ist deine Tochter. Sie ist Elisabeths Tochter. Und ihre Mutter. <laughs> There it is. is he, does he know no no? The Agnes. Oh, Agnes. Dieser Knoten lässt sich nur lösen, indem man ihn voll und ganz vernichtet. Good. Sorry. Oh, the safety is on? Oh! Oh, shit! What the... Fuck. He already sent the younger Noah down this path. He let her know that he so the pages weren't anything about Elizabeth. The pages were about, about Charlotte, the humanity, and him. And Charlotte. probably like, yeah, like in how you use me. Like you're not trying to save them. Like maybe Noah this whole time, just like whole thing that everyone's trying to hear. Like we we got to do this to save everyone. We have to do this to save everyone. Yeah, he probably maybe believed the whole paradise shit. He just gave the truth. Oh, by the way, you fucked your granddaughter to make your daughter. I'll give you that peace of mind before you're about to get shot. This is the time. This looks different. Yeah, it's not creating a sphere anymore. Is this a new model that Adam made? Ooh, Maybe one of those different prototypes? Oh shit. Oh shit! So Jonas is gonna be right here. Oh my god, I feel like all that's gonna start happening at once. And Martha's gonna get the fuck out because Elizabeth's gonna go to the bunker and he's gonna have to see her die. 
We're going to the bunker. Fuck. So Peter wouldn't live. Or... Oh shit, the birds! We haven't seen those in a while. Yep. Fuck. Cause cause Jonas is coming through. Yep. Shit. He probably knows. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. He knows other things about the blow up in a couple hours. Like, go ahead, go do what you need to do. It's probably sooner than that. It's probably like about to happen soon, soon. Oh shit, that was our opportunity. Hey, Vata, don't get out. Hey, Vata, Vata, no. Oh shit! Oh no! Gosh damn it. I think, where's Jonas? I thought Jonas was going to appear in time. Shit. Fuck you. I mean, I, I guess to the extent, yes, but by Okay, not... it didn't transform in the bunker, they just went back out of the cave. Now what? I thought he was going to go to the bunker. Shit, that's how she survives. Shit. Ugh. Does he know that he can save Martha this time, or is he not going to... He still has this false hope that he can change things, and he's still going to probably watch Martha die. The Versiegelung auch des alten Reaktors ist einer der Schritte im Abbauprogramm. Ich möchte, dass das hier aufgebrochen wird. Dumbass! Shit, he is causing it. This reminds me of the last episode of Chernobyl. This is like nerve wracking. Shit. Oh shit! She's gonna freak the fuck out because she's like young. Yeah, she's like, how in the fuck is this possible? This is crazy. Oh no, this is fucking insane. Wollte nicht einfach so gehen. Ich erkläre es dir. Aber du musst jetzt mit mir kommen. She's trying to save her from the apocalypse. This has got to be the best show I've ever seen. I'm sorry. I'm ready to declare it at this point. <laughs> this is sad. Or it's no fuck. Oh, Damn. Ich geschickt. Ich immer gefragt, wenn du zu ihm geworden bist. Ich werde niemals das tun, was er getan hat. Er hat gesagt, dass du so etwas sagen wirst. Like sorry, this is your destiny. You're doing exactly what we want, what we expect. Wenn du ihn tötest, tötest du jegliche Hoffnung auf Erlösung. Er ist der Erretter. Du bist der Erretter. Was ist er? Er ist von Martha. Oh shit! Is it though? Is it? Das ist nicht möglich. Du musst sie retten. Bartosz, Magnus, Franziska, später mich und Agnes. Dieser Kreislauf muss geschlossen werden, damit der nächste Zyklus beginnt. Und damit Martha leben kann. So Martha's in his afterwards? Why would you believe Adam after he just... After the shit he pulled with your father? He saw her die, I thought. Oh, oh shit. shit! Where are they sending you? Where are you going, Adam? I didn't realize you were gonna get your hands dirty. I remember someone in the comments said like the last scene in this episode is fucking crazy. This whole episode's been crazy. I thought it was be Charlotte's mom's reveal. What else could top this? this? The episode started with that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this motherfucker Klausen. It's not all your fault, but you're still part of the problem. You're being too fucking nosy. But I get it, your brother. I mean, I can't say I would do anything different, but fuck. He's just determined. He's like, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Yeah, you're a determined motherfucker. He probably thinks that's Alexander's hiding the proof about the death of the brother. I don't care, you caused Martha to die. I mean, you're one of the reasons why Martha died. You're one of the domino effects of this many other dominoes since he's one. Charlotte's supposed to be here? Your colleague is the alten reactor. Damn, she's gonna have to stop Klausen somehow. But how with all this time shit? Yeah, Charlotte, you're supposed to be in the bunker. Nope. Or are you? Oh, she knows. <gasps> oh, crazy. She knows. Oh, shit. She says it. Oh, oh shit. shit. I guess it was only wrong when it's 40 year old Jonas. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, the way <laughs> sorry. I, well, she's like, I, I like how you look when you get older, so. I don't care. I'm rooting for it. I just want her to live. Also, apocalypse in two hours. Get in that bunker. Well, I know Jonas lives, but Martha. Oh no, Adam! Sagt, dass alle Spielsteine auf ihrer Position sind, kleiner Schubs. Du hast mich belogen. Du wolltest, dass es wieder genauso passiert. Der Auslöser sind wir alle. Jeder einzelne von uns. Inter what are you gonna do? Do you have anything when you see Martha now? Die schwarze Materie. Sie muss entstehen, damit ich sie in der Zukunft zu ihrer neuen Bestimmung führen kann. Oh, shit. Ende dieser Welt. Ich bin da. Well, how are you? The what are you gonna do here to push it? Like, what's the push? <gasps> ich bin you kill Martha? Dafür, dass du zu dem wirst. You're gonna kill Martha? He watches her die. No! No! 
Oh my god. Fuck you, Adam. I can't stress that enough. Oh my god. That's why. Oh my god. He didn't watch her die. He fucking killed her. You could have shot her in the head, you fucking prick. You could have, like. I know, you're gonna make her suffer and make him watch. That was way worse than I expected. I am the trigger. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh no. Cue the apocalypse music. Oh shit. We gotta go right now. Oh, they're. Oh, he's using the machine. That's how they get out. Du bist Jonas. Das ist alles deine Schuld. Ja, es ist meine Schuld. Alles. Aber ich bin hier, um euch zu retten. Ja. Nur vor retten. Vor der Apokalypse. Oh, shit. Oh, that's created. It is created. Fuck you, Klausen. And fuck out. I mean, there's a lot of people to fuck right now. Fuck out. Nara Adam's a bad guy in my books. I don't even know if Claudia's the white devil or they're both fucked. I don't know. He's the wrinkly devil. Get in there and save Mickle. And just bring Mickle through. Oh no, it's kind of like guiding. It's going into the tunnel. Is it going to reopen it? <gasps> God. That's how I'm going to Elizabeth me. But look how much older he is. Yep, that's there's a fucking connection. And this, he already know that he has to hook up with her. Probably not, but it happens organically. Hopefully it happens organically. Go through it, Charlotte. Just run, run through it. Like, yeah, it's a question. Can you even go through it before the they, shit explodes? They, they can. Oh no. And boom. I can't breathe right now. I'm waiting for like the moment to happen. Dude, I'm so fucking mad still. This is gonna reopen the tunnel. Is she gonna trigger it? Where's she gonna go? Is she gonna trigger it? How? How? By though? opening it. I don't know, like opening like. Maybe a... that's like the trigger. Another trigger. Like... <gasps> yep. Oh, bright light's not good. Oh no. Oh no. Elizabeth. Oh shit. <gasps> you see your mother and your daughter. Oh, does Charlotte go there? And everybody else dies? Please go through. Please walk through. Grab it. Grab your mom. Go. 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 You don't deserve to die, Charlotte. Oh! Go through right now. Oh no! Shit. Let's begin. Move in, move in. Did they touch that? What happened? Or she died, and that's it. Oh, she got. Looks like she got sucked through. Look how big that shit expanded. And where the fuck is Hannah? Who is that? Fuck, what the fuck? Why are you so shook? Is it Martha? Oh! oh fuck! Oh, it's what Martha. the fuck? I don't know how, but... You look the same age and everything. Does that mean something changed? Wait, what? I don't, I don't even know. Just tell me. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Martha, that can't be. I don't understand. Is that a new time machine? Okay, now it's handheld. Explain that. Well, explain now. I'll explain it to you in season three. Sorry. Oh my gosh, it's a handheld. Who built that? Aus welcher Zeit bist du? Frage ist nicht aus welcher Zeit, sondern aus welcher Welt. What? Okay, different worlds now. I mean, different realities. We have multiverse now. Multiverse. Okay. I'm not oh. That's my favorite episode of all of it. God! I can't even process what the fuck I just saw. Oh, my eyes hurt, my head hurts, everything hurts. My body hurts, my soul hurts. Holy fucking hell of all holiness. <laughs> of all Endings holiness. and beginnings. Glacier, what'd you think? Uh, this is actually my favorite episode of the entire series so far. Yeah. The date, like. This, I mean, this episode might solidify this is the best show of all time. Yeah, like. Here. Better than Breaking Bad, better than Game of Thrones. Oh, wait, yeah. You name it. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, if they, if season three also sticks the landing on the finale like this did. I guess that's the only, like, the only caveat. Season three has to stick the landing. You guys have pretty much assured us that it does. But there's been great shows. Like, I'm not going to say, there's been really good shows. Like, Breaking Bad was really good. There was every episode had a really good connection. Like you said, even the, they stick, they stuck the landing too. That's like yeah, one of the best Breaking Bad at that point, like, between Breaking Bad and Game of Thrones until I saw season eight, those were like, <laughs> one I saw and, season eight yeah. Game of Thrones. No caveat. Those were one and two for me. Yeah, and then fucking Dexter was up there until they shit on the fucking shit on the family. Sorry, Dexter fans, they did. Hopefully they'll redeem it when it comes out. But aside from that, this brought out a lot of emotions. This is probably like the most 
hyped I've ever been in an episode and also the most mad. I got, I think there was a point in there, which we'll get to where I couldn't even fucking talk. I was just so fucking angry. Yeah, I had knots on my stomach. Like, and I could not talk at the beginning because our theory, one of our theories was right. My fucking, even though I kind of had like spaghetti at the wall, like I really didn't, it was like one of those things like, what is it? Like, I don't know, like an alien. It's like if you say aliens exist in, out in the real world and you see an alien, you're going to be like, Obviously, fucking shocked. Like, like, I called it, but I still can't believe it. I still can't believe it. Yeah, it's that kind of thing. But my, it's still, dude. That that scene out of the whole show, yeah, soon literally as I saw made my picture. fucking head hurt. Like I literally couldn't talk. I literally had like a migraine. I've never had a show like give me that. I was like, ow, I'm trying to like. And the show kept going. I'm like, please, just start the fucking intro for a little bit. Give me like, yeah, like, give me a little time to breathe. I'm about to have an aneurysm here. Yeah, like that's what I thought. My head is like killing me. Okay, so I guess we'll just kind of we may be all over the place, but we're gonna try to keep it linear here. <laughs> Um, linear. No, it's good luck. Yeah, time's not linear, so fuck it. We're not going linear at all. <laughs> okay, so obviously starting with when Liz digs up the little treasure chest and we find a picture of her, Noah, and baby Charlotte. I already I had like, a feeling, oh bro. When, she started, when it showed her and it showed like past things, I'm like, oh, are you doing this? Like, okay, we're gonna get the reveal. We called it, but are we ready? Are we, are we ready? Are we got what we asked for, but are we ready to get what we asked saw, for? Then I saw the, the, pol the, what, the Polaroids. Yeah, the Polaroids. I was like, oh no. And then sure enough, Blonde girl holding a baby. I'm like, and I was looking. I was like, oh, that's her. I was like, wait, I don't want to confirm. I don't want to sound like a jackass if that's not. Yeah, her. that's why I'm like, it's her, it's her, it's her. I didn't want to like jump to the conclusion. You're like, at first you're like, wait, is that Francesca? <laughs> like, yeah, look, uh, <laughs> I was like, wait, that doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I got a picture of your my older sister kissing a baby. But that would make sense because they are all related, so they would look alike. So and like, you would shit. have a picture of her aunt. Yeah, but okay. sister, fuck, whatever. But it's her. <laughs> so Liz is Charlotte's mom. Mom. Uh, Charlotte is Liz's mom. So the only thing we're wrong about that part of that theory was the pages. So we got to assume that Noah didn't know that. Noah knew that basically in the pages it said, I'm destroying humanity. He pro Adam probably poisoned Noah, like poisoned everybody else. Like we have to, just like Claudia and everyone else is singing the same tune. We have to destroy this world to create a paradise. So Noah, even though we've been blaming him for shit, he's actually, He's a pawn. Like he's a pawn. He's you like, got played. He's an evil. I mean, he's kind of like, I got to do what I got to do. Because Adam's telling me if I do this, I can probably get my daughter back. I can get my wife back. And then he finds out, hey, missing pages that, oh shit, my wife is still alive. It's Charlotte the whole fucking, oh my God, my daughter is alive this whole fucking time. I know where she is. And I know my wife's alive. I just got to find her. Yeah. And I feel like it's kind of like what we were saying. I guarantee it was one of those, I, don't, I can't guarantee, but my our theory is when Elizabeth had the baby. She's like, I'm gonna let's name this Charlotte after my mom. And I was like, okay, great. Charlotte's a great name. And didn't put two and two together until that literally that very moment Adam shows the picture of Elizabeth saying, that is uh, your and mom what, and the daughter. And what's crazy is Elizabeth, and she has the pocket watch that says Charlotte. So it's probably one of those memorable things. And Noah's in the bunker with her, so that makes sense because they they survived. But the I don't think Charlotte's dead. I just, based on the how it ended, the way she touched it, it kind of reminds me of the same thing, Helgi and, and, Jonah. and Jonah. So if, I, if we went off that same logic, speaking of that, that means that they both went into the future, let's just say they went 33 years, just the same as you know Jonas and, and Helgi. That means that Charlotte would have gone to 2052, yep. which means that the whole all those scenes we saw in 2052, we could have very well seen Charlotte, but we wouldn't have recognized her, maybe because yep. she like aged, or she's like dirty or scarred, or whatever the case is. But, and again, it may not be true at all. And that means that Liz, if she went to the future, I mean, she might be in fucking like 2085. Yep. And that's, and that, I'll throughout the episode, because I'm in the moment, you gotta understand this episode's fucking nuts. There's a couple, there's a couple apologies I have to make. So I'm gonna make an apology to Noah first, since we're talking about that, for assuming that you knew Elizabeth. Because I was blaming him. I was like, why is this motherfucker leaving her in 52? Why did you do her dirty like that? And I kept on remembering, I had a reference back to when he said they were taken from her, number one. And number two, it seems like he didn't know, because it seemed like Adam told her, told him right before he fucking killed Noah. And the fact that Agnes was the one that pulled the trigger, and if I'm not, if unless I'm mistaken, I feel like that's Boris's gun because you think about it, uh, Jonas took Boris's gun to get Martha to go into the bunker, and I don't think he ever gave up that gun, so that would make sense that he held on to that gun for 66 years or whatever, where it becomes Adam, and Adam still has the gun. Yep. Noah tries to kill him with that gun, but the safety's on, and then Agnes like, oh, just take the safety off, and pff, done. And that means that Agnes was playing as that the whole time, just like you thought. Like, she wanted to get back into the Travelers. So Adam was playing and like, Chess was like, oh, I'm gonna get you back in the Travelers, and eventually you're gonna have to kill your brother. Exactly. So that, that, was, was, like, that was fucking dirty, though. Like, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna at least tell you that you fucked your own granddaughter to make your mom, and then I'm gonna have your sister kill you. So let that, let everyone else, fans, Ember, and Glacier, join And maybe, piece of shit. and I'm thinking, why did he kill Noah in that moment? I'm thinking maybe yeah. it's because Noah would have maybe Probably taken been. over that big time machine and gone back and changed some shit being able to go wherever, whatever time well, he wanted to. Well, definitely now, like, I think at this point, it's like, I just told you that you fucked your granddaughter to make your mom now what are you gonna do? Yeah, I'm just gonna go back in time and undo all that shit because that's fucked up. I was like, no, you're actually not. You wanna call your sister? She's the only one that yeah, can take so. a gun from you and Vinny DiVinci forgot to take a safety off? But the question is, I mean, he must, 
Adam must have known that Noah sent his younger self back to 2020 to pretty much go into the bunker and start all the shit all over again. So that kind of leads me to my next point. Like Adam, I don't think Adam was wrong. We were thinking at first there is no loophole. He's full of shit. He's just you know leading everybody along to keep the fucking the, the carousel yep. going 24-7. But I feel like he has seen the new world. And he, but we're thinking that, oh, it's this new like cycle, whatever. I wasn't even thinking of from the realm of this possibly could be a multiverse, like a whole new different world, same characters, different, different shit all together. Until we get the fucking, well, before we get that bombshell, I was, so, that was where I was so fucking mad. I'm Adam, when Adam was like, says it twice. You didn't say anything until he said it the second time. He's like, you're like, you're the trigger. And you're like, yeah, I'm the trigger. Cause he goes, no, no, no. I'm the trigger. And I'm here to him. give this pl this plan a little push. And I was thinking, I was like, I was thinking in my head, what can Adam, like, what is Adam here to do? What is the push? And then I remember what young Jonas said when he's like, or no, it was a stranger. Yeah. The stranger said to Martha early in the episode, he's like, I watched you die. I won't let it happen again or whatever. And I'm like, you watched her die. Oh no. So I know he's not going to kill his younger self, obviously. So I was like, fuck. And oh, then as soon as he aimed, changed the aim of the gun, I'm like, oh no. And that was, that was harder for me to watch than if my original thought was Martha was going to be by the plan, die in the explosion. Yeah, and like Jonas. I would have like, rather seen that than see her suffer and die. Like, no, like, don't try to predict me. And the fact that like this whole time Adam was holding the, the medallion, he was saying, We have we, some losses you don't get over. And he's literally telling 2020 Joe the same shit. He's like, Sorry, it's not, it's not, this is the pain that you're gonna experience the rest of your life. I experience it. It is but what it's it crazy is. though, because he's like, that's what like, like why can't you bring her through? Like, I guess because it doesn't seem like the other like that's when we get the big bombshell. I'm like the I'm assuming Adam, like you said, he knows about the new world because Martha, the other Martha, Martha 2.0, 2.0 shows up. She's like, and then Jonas is like trying to, you know, comprehend like this is impossible. And Martha's like, I'm not who you think I am, but um, we got to go right now. And then she has a miniature, like a spherical yeah. miniature time machine, which I'm guessing can go to the other world or the other universe, which is crazy because that means that because I was thinking to myself, was Adam bullshitting when he gave that letter that supposedly Martha wrote to Noah, the young Noah, to give. To um, the stranger, because because yeah. then because then we started connecting dots. Like, why was a stranger yeah. at his home? I thought like I thought maybe he was. Yeah, that's another apology. I was blaming stranger. I was like, why the fuck didn't you bring Martha with you this whole time? You left her in the fucking bunker. But it's like no, because he knew yeah. that Adam was gonna come there to kill Martha. That's why he made sure Martha was in the bunker. bunker. I was thinking it's like, oh, you die in the by the plane, you die in the explosion, so I gotta get you in this bunker so you don't die like everybody else that was in the bunker. No, he knew. Because obviously he remembered that Adam kills her right there in that house. So he's waiting for Adam to show up and then it's Noah. And he's like, wait, why are you here? And then Noah gives him the note and we don't see what's in the note. But yeah. the stranger's like, this right. is impossible. What the fuck? So we're trying to think, what was in the note? He says from Martha too. And he says from Martha. So it's like, so I'm guessing that means that Adam has seen the new world. Well, that's, the, that's the thing. that the... And, Mar and he's, he's in cahoots with Martha. That's the thing though. Like, it's like, what, wouldn't the stranger pick up on, like smell something? Because he was acting like, this is impossible. This can't be Martha. Because he he had to have seen Martha because Jonah saw Martha. That's how he got saved. So that's the only thing. Yeah, because think about it. If Jonah, if obviously at the end of the episode, Martha 2.0 takes Jonah <laughs> to this other world, that means that the stranger would have had all those memories right. of what he saw in the new world. So either that means that, one, they're two different Jonases for some crazy multiverse shit, or two, this is something new that happens. But if it's new, then how would Adam know it's going to happen? Unless or three... Maybe Jonas has seen that other world, but in that other world, he doesn't have a relationship like that with Martha. And he's like, I don't want that Martha. I want my Martha. That's the thing, because Martha even said I'm not that same person. Because you got to think of it. That's like if, you know, you have like, uh, well, you, Ember, you have your dragon girlfriend, and all of a sudden, you know, so your asshole Ember self shows up, kills your dragon girlfriend, and your, a new dragon girlfriend <laughs> shows up, and she's like, hey. Yeah, I'm trying to get all comfy with, oh, baby, I miss you. Like, wait, well, I don't know you like that. Yeah, I'm here to save you, but we're like just this. friends. We're just friends. Or we're brothers or auntie nephew. You gotta, you gotta buy me a drink first. Like, I've already bought you, like, 10 yeah, drinks. All, yeah, like, literally, all that time of building the relationship, and finally you get to that moment. Like, I care where, about that Martha that died. I, I'm cool that Martha showed up. Especially Martha, like, went in there, she's like, I know it was you that kissed me by the lake. I know everything. I know about Mickle. I know we're late. I don't give a fuck. You're perfect. Like, still says the one thing that he's been dreaming, all his dreams of him saying it. She says it to him, they kiss, they can finally like be on the same page, and then she gets Adam murdered. shows up, bro, and it's like, what are you doing here? I can't believe he like went there and got his hands there. And the fact is, that means I couldn't even fucking talk. Imagine and Francesca from 1921, the older. And they what? had to know what he was doing. That, I, because movies. they probably know this other world. They're like, sorry. Because Adam must have been like, look, this world is fucked. Like, there's there's like, no I, stopping it. In this world, I guess he's like, mean, there's, no there's no loophole, there's no way to change it. In a way, there is. This world is kind of like shitty. Like, you got Regina got cancer, you got Ulrich with a tragic fucking arc, you got Helgi with a tragic fucking arc. And there's so many bootstrap paradoxes. It's, yeah, it's fucks and structure. Maybe we'll get there. Like, it's like, maybe there's like, look, I want to eradicate this, 
and we can live over here. But it's like sad because these people, like in this under this timeline, still have they have feelings. They grew up. You still he's build a, a bond. Like you can't. I guess that's what the stranger said on you. Like you said, he's probably going to this new world, and yeah, it's paradise. But I want to try to save this world. How come we can't make this world paradise? How come we can just do it differently? And the question is, remember Claudia was saying there is a world where you don't exist. So how many worlds are there? Well, what if that's the world, the one that this Martha 2 pointed from? What if that's the world uh, Jonas doesn't exist? I would hope so, because unless that Jonas goes there and he's like... Trying yeah, to yeah there's another Jonas. Jonas, Jonas like, oh, it's, it's my boo. My boo. And she, I, and I she, and she ain't even my aunt in this world. Well, are we related, baby? No? Yeah, we're not even related. Now get the fuck out of here. That's crazy. Funny. And that <laughs> brings me to another point, which is funny, because I think this is all meant to happen on purpose. This is all fate. The other day, we were re-watching the first Matrix, right? And you know, in the first Matrix, where the cat crosses the path and Neo looks at him and the, the same cat crosses and he's like, oh, deja vu. And Trinity's like, oh, deja vu means there's a glitch in the matrix. It happens when they change something. And in this show, Jonas literally references the, that movie in the first episode when, when Martha's like, I feel like this is deja vu. And Jonas jokes around like, oh, maybe it's a glitch in the matrix. I bet that's fucking foreshadowing. It, means, it happens when they've changed something. Yeah, whatever. So I feel like this new world is the whole, whatever they've done, this whole domino effect of these events of Adam killing Martha, this, that, and the other, probably causes a chain of events that changes and breaks this time loop. Like, I, if someone went through all our videos and edited how many times, like, is this part of the time loop? Is this part of the time loop? Is We've been yeah, constantly loop? questioning, what changes? Like what's, new? what's new? Is this new? Is this new? And, and then, eventually I, I gave up. I, I thought I gave, I, I, did, I, I did, did give up during this episode, but then I said that shit again when Martha showed up. Yeah, I was like, oh, this is new. But then, it, is it though? Uh, is this, or is that the whole slingshot effect, like, Adam knows it exists? And so he, I guess the question is, Adam knows it exists. But has he seen it? Because remember, a couple episodes ago, Adam, or Adam said, like, I can't see, there's a certain part of my future I can't see past. Like, I know that you become me, young Jonas, but other than that, I really can't see past my own I future. I don't know if it's all bullshit, because if he, he had to have seen it, because young Jonas just saw it. And know? that's the thing, I can't trust Adam's narrative. I can't trust anything he fucking says, because he could be saying it just to move everything along, make you think whatever you're supposed to think. Or, or, or we could be wrong. We could be, Martha is from the New World, but that little time thing she's using, she's not taking Jonas to the new, well, I guess, no, never mind. She did say that fucking line where she's like, not what time, what world? What world, yeah. Okay, never mind. I thought and that's the other thing, is who time. built the sphere? I feel like Adam had to have built the sphere. Because we've seen a multi, a multi, like- Or another, or the Adam over there. Maybe there's another Adam, but that would be crazy. If there's, there's Adam there, that means that he you goes through all that shit and you still scar well, That's what I'm saying, when he doesn't look like shit, he's like, actually I look real clean. I got this whole technology where I look good. Tell that other Adam, that fucking sucks over there. Sucks for him. That whole world, like, that whole world's tragic. Like I said, Martha's not even related. Ulrich actually can have two wives. He's married to Hannah and he's married to Katarina. Now we're going on this rabbit hole. My brain's already melted. I'm still trying to. Well, speaking of Hannah and Katarina, where the fuck's Hannah? And I mean, I'm Katarina assuming going? I'm assuming Hannah is still in 1954, fucking Egon for shits and giggles because we hadn't seen her this whole. I thought out of everybody that's supposed to be here in the season finale, you don't show up. You're not here. She's no, I'm busy fucking Egon and getting pregnant by him. You better not get pregnant, otherwise she's the biggest. Never mind. I don't even go down that road. But Katarina, okay, so Katarina is in the tunnel. She, I think she has like some kind of, like one of the new prototypes of the time machine. Instead of making the spherical, it's making these fucking sparkles. The same one that, who else had it? Jonas had the same. But Katarina's motivation, like, I feel like the stranger, I don't know, I feel like the stranger knows, like he didn't even give a fuck. Wait, who else had the time machine with the sparkles? It was Jonas, right? Because remember, like the, the sparkles were coming and it was appearing, yeah, it was 2020. Yeah, it was 2020 Jonas and Claudia in 1987 when he was taking her back to 2020 to go in the bunker. Yep. He had the different time machine to have the sparkles and the sparkles appeared in the bunker. So I thought that 2020 Jonas was gonna end up in the bunker and realize that Martha's not there and then try to search out Martha. It was, I feel like it was like he was causing the apocalypse again. Like that was how it was meant to happen. But then he ended up coming out of the cave and nobody ended up in the bunker. Like, yeah. But then Katarina had the same time machine. So I'm guessing those two time machines are the same. So Katarina goes in the tunnel, which is closed off yep. and maybe she used that different time machine because it looks like those sparkles were like kind of leading her back into the cave. And when she opens it up, there's like a big ass bright light. Yep. I'm assuming so, that. Okay. So where is she gonna go? Is she gonna? Is that a? Is that another time machine that takes you to the new world, or is she just gonna be stuck? She's gonna be in a different time period, but she's gonna be stuck in this original reality. Yeah, because I don't know. It's like you said, it was like a bright light looked different. Is she gonna go? And if she does go to let's say 1987, then again I don't know because this is supposedly the final cycle. So. This is the apocalypse, is this ending all those timelines and they're all going to be in the new world? Okay. I would assume not, I would assume that it doesn't end everything because then what's the point of showing Katarina like, yeah. more like being alive and also Charlotte being alive when she touched a little, older Elizabeth. Like, that was fucking crazy. We, I know we're going back, before we go, like, go off to everything, we didn't touch on that part, it was pretty funny off camera where, where Elizabeth was like, Mom. Mom, and technically Charlotte could have said the same shit if she knew better, if she knew what she knew, Mom. she'd be like, Mom. <laughs> but, oh shit, but obviously <laughs> she didn't know. It. But um, yeah, Katarina, anything, she's gonna go back to 1987 to try to save Mibble, because she goes through the whole photo album and it's like literally 
living his childhood that she never had to experience him. She's living it through 80s photos, which is crazy. I feel like she's but, not going there, or she could be, but I feel like if it was that big of a threat, Adam would stop her. Or, or Jonas would stop her. Stranger would stop her. Stranger, but I think Stranger's like, So nah. maybe she's trying to go there, but she ends up going somewhere else, and she's like a non-factor as far as like changing yeah. anything. What's fucking with my head is like one of the biggest questions I still want to know in this season. I mean, I still kind of know, I do kind of know where fuck Hannah is at, because we didn't even get her at all this episode. We didn't get where she was, where she is, when she is. I'm, I'm sure like a lot of this is gonna be in season three. And now that I'm thinking like this title of the episode is Endings and Beginnings. So obviously this is the end of this world. So is season three gonna touch on how that new world is created to begin with? So that's what I wanna see. If there is a new world, I wanna see the domino effect of the chain reaction of everything that leads to that new oh, world being built. You know what? I think it's possible Adam doesn't know about the new Martha 2.0. Because remember when Jonas came through the cave with Claudia, they had that like little, little missions they had to do. And he was told, I'm assuming he was told by Claudia, older Claudia, He's like, you have to go find, didn't he say to go find Regina? Or did he say to go find, what did he tell you? He said, you have to go get to the bunker. Yeah, you have to get to the bunker. He didn't even say to go find Regina. She went upon her own. Yeah, she her. took, yeah, she took But her. he said, I have to go, she said, what are you gonna go do? I have to go find my mom and I have to go find Martha. So maybe he was supposed to find his mom to get the machine to travel out. Maybe that was the original plan, but then Hannah wasn't there. But again, it was all that part of the plan. Again, I don't know. That's the one big question I have going into season three. Does Adam know about Martha? Because if he does, Martha 2.0, then that means assuming the stranger has to know and everyone else. Everyone yeah, because I mean, it'd be a domino effect. Everyone has to, all the whole Jonas fucking Lynn timeline would have to know. Yeah, because I guess it'll be, did they confirm that it was Adam that gave Noah Martha's letter or did Martha give Noah the letter directly to give to the stranger? And Adam wasn't part of it at all. Yep. And I don't know, see, I, that's what is this beautiful thing about the show. Like I could be bitching about this whole apocalypse thing and maybe like the new world is good and it kind of makes like Adam look like this hero even though he's a piece of shit or in my life right now, he's like a piece of shit. But maybe like with season three's arc, it will make him look like a hero. Because right now, like I want to blame you too, Klausen, by fucking digging up that shit. I don't blame Klausen though at the same time, because it's like, my brother was killed. I know Boris, you had something to do with it. And and you own, and you work at this plant. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. And you covered up all this uh, God particle. There's all right, well, I'm Alexander. There. Guess what? It was 30 years ago. Cry me a river. I will cry you a river. I'm going to dig up this shit. I'm going to bury you in Your this brother shit. died 30 years ago. And you I killed him. All right. I killed him. I won't get over it. <laughs> Klausen's like, I'm a real one. I came here specifically for this mission. You think I'm gonna give up now? Fuck though. Oh, well, I did your brother's name honor, didn't I? I opened old chemical plant and gave a bunch of people's jobs. I did better than your brother did. Oh great, honor. What am I gonna do? Honor, he's dead as fuck. I don't even know where his body is. Well, it's over there, back there behind the branch. A little, little stick, a little. And if you would have told me that, I wouldn't have to dig up this shit and cause the apocalypse. <laughs> so it's on you, Alexander Boris, whatever your fucking name is. But well, well, yeah, we didn't get the Waller story. Fuck. We didn't get the Waller story. I'm still confident that it has something to do with Boris, Waller, and the Royal Alexander. Maybe we'll get a flashback. Waller did say some shit like, he goes, I'm glad this has all come to the surface. Yeah, he had. He was always guilt right That's why he always had the shaky Peter face because he's like, I don't want it. This is pretty much your, your idea, Boris. So I'm pretty much like trying to get out of this. I want to be guilt free. I want my conscience to be clear. So yeah. But going back to like, as far as like in season three, what we're going to touch on because we got to figure out who's dead. Pretty much everybody at that plant's dead. Klausen, Waller, Alexander. Except Charlotte. Um, Everybody Charlotte, I feel like Charlotte's still alive, but we still don't know exactly when she is. Yep. Um, and then, yeah, obviously anybody else that is a non-factor in, in Wendy. But who's alive as far as like who's in the bunker? We have Peter, Liz, Regina, 87 Claudia, and Noah. So I feel like those are people are, I mean, we know Claudia's destiny. She's meant to be like the light to go against the travelers. But is it safe to say that everybody else because other, other than Liz, Liz isn't a traveler, right? She's just kind of like... It's crazy because they both sing the same fucking tune in a way. Like, like Claudia's like telling young Jonas, you have to stop Adam for the paradise and... And they kind of touched on that. They said like pretty much they're like two sides, you're on two, one or two sides. You're either with Adam trying to end the world and then you're with Claudia trying to save it. But Adam wants to end the world because he knows of this new world. He's like, this world's fucked, I want the new world. But I guess the question yeah. is... Okay, that makes sense because Claudia's trying to... Claudia's trying to end it or start over to restart to save it, but it's like you guys are doing the same shit. Let it play out. Yeah, you're letting you Claudia. You're letting shit play. It's like I don't believe you, Claudia, because you're still helping Adam by being a pawn in his game. Same chess moves. Yeah, it's like you guys are you thinking you have the upper hand, but you're in the same position. Jonas was in the end of season one. He thought he had the upper hand, but he's causing this shit. Like you got checkmate last time by fucking shotgun by Noah. You got checkmate again. Like if you're really you're trying to checkmating change... yourself, he's like leading you into a trouble. Like, yeah, go and checkmate me. So you like, you're really trying to save this world. Do something different. But I guess they don't understand the concept of that shit. But as far as like who time traveled, so Stranger came back for Bartosh, Francesca, and uh, and Magnus, which we might be right in that one at the beginning of season one that was Bartosh that got hammer smashed. Yeah, we didn't confirm it. Maybe they won't season three, but I feel like that was him because he obviously survived. And we know that Magnus and 
and Francesca become travelers. But as far as Peter, like what happened to Peter, because remember, there's that 1921 picture where there's like at least like five or six characters in that picture. We have no idea who they are because they've aged or they look physically yeah. different. One of them, I mean, one of them could very well be Charlotte, maybe okay. not. One of them could very well be Peter. Peter could be that Abraham Lincoln motherfucker. Yeah, one of the fucking goatee on both sides <laughs> of his face, whatever the hell that is. Um, but yeah, we, I mean, we all know they survived. We just don't know like their stories. Again, they're all going to play out in season three. Um, I feel like that covers everything that we want to talk about. Oh yeah, and one thing too, that Doris could be in that picture too, because you don't know what happened, because we know Agnes is still alive. Yeah, we saw Agnes. Where the fuck did you do with Egon's girl? Did you just like... Yeah, we're dirt. all... You loved her. Loved her. I can... I even told you, hey, my mom loves you. Don't do her dirty. Yeah, take care of her. You're a dirty motherfucker because you killed your own brother, Agnes. But I mean, at the end of the day, Doris could be one of those travelers. So we haven't seen, we confirmed. I would think if Agnes was going to become a traveler, she would take Doris with her, unless she didn't give a fuck about Doris, or she died somehow, and that's the end of Doris. But that'd be fucked up. I'm guessing maybe I'm, my prediction is one of those women in that 1921 traveler's picture is Doris. And on my prediction that the Abe Lincoln motherfucker is Peter. Yep, so we'll see what happens there. But other, other than that, uh, season two, I didn't think it could get any better than season one. Season two, I feel like blew it out of the water in the best ways possible. Again, this show to me, I feel like as, as yeah. of right now, is the best show ever made. Until another one knocks my, my socks off like this one did. And we haven't even gotten to season three. I'm just having the faith that if they can have season one masterpiece, season two a bigger masterpiece, I don't think they're going to falter on season three. They know what they're doing. All this is somehow, yeah. the mad scientists behind the show have thought this through. I don't know. I want to tell them to the write actors, the script. The casting, like the whole. Yeah, the acting. Like, they're talking about like the basics of filmmaking. The acting, incredible. Cinematography, incredible. The soundtrack, incredible. The pacing, incredible. The casting. suspense, all of it. Oh, everyone did it. It checks every box. So all the, like, there's like, like you have to. Nothing's like, wasted. The plot, like, there, nothing's you can't wasted. find any plot holes. I mean, maybe if you really dig. I mean, I don't think so. No, I think they cover. It, I think they can all be explained. I think they all watch, and you're like, nope, nope, nope. Oh, someone will definitely say something about this. We'll fix that. So I'm saying, how long did it take them to plot out, like, write the script for these three seasons? I have no idea. That's probably why they only did three seasons. Like, all right, man, we can probably make this like a ten season show, but let's just make it three seasons, and it'll be a massive. Or maybe there's a vision. Yeah, like this has a beginning, a middle, and end. And an ending, beginning, and middle. It can play forwards. It can play. I bet this is one of those shows. You can watch it from season three, and then watch it from season three to season one, and it'll still make sense somehow. <laughs> yeah, you can watch season three first, and then season two, then season one. I bet you could. I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if you could. But um, <laughs> but yeah, obviously, I can't say enough about this show. Final thoughts, Fisher. Yeah, final thoughts. Like Amber took like most of the words out of my mouth. It's one of the best, actually the best show. I'm gonna agree with Amber on that. The best show I've ever seen up to date. Um, for all the reasons he said. The one question now that I would like to leave Ember with, are if your our theory, our new theory is right, that Adam did see the world, he sees that this so-called paradise, we can live in a world, where, like I said, it's like Ulrich is not, there's no tragic arc with Ulrich, there's no tragic arc with Helgi, or Hannah is not a shady bitch there. All this, everything's good. Let's say it's complete opposite of this. Jonas can, Jonas can actually be alive in the same timeline that Mikkel can be alive. Maybe they're not related, which is not fucked up for him and Martha to be together. Would you agree with Adam what he's doing to this world? Like, what if Adam has to do with this world for this world to exist? Or does, do you agree with that this world needs to be destroyed? That's the question I'll leave Ember with. Me, I, I don't know. I feel like, like I said, these people, have, I feel bad for that Martha being dead. Even if Jonas falls in love with this Martha, I'm still sad that this Martha got shot. Dragon certified. <laughs> I mean, it's one of those situations where it makes Adam a tragic villain. Because what he's doing is still fucked up. I, it's one of those things, like, I understand, and I almost, to a certain point, agree with what your end goal is. But... The road to hell is paved with good intentions. You're going about it the horrible way. I get like where you're getting at your end point, and that's the only way to get to that end point. I don't know if the juice is worth the squeeze, because the juice is really fucked up juice. Because so, you're, you're still you're inevitable. Like you're still gonna die. And the thing is, like, too, it's you're, like you're you're tragic. You know what I mean? He's he's destroying this world so that the younger Jonas can like that's I guess not that's not selfish, is it? Or is it selfish? Because I'm destroying this world. That's like an older version of yourself. Look, man, I'm, I'm taking. I'm the one that's taking the sacrifice. I'm the one pulling the trigger on this Martha. But then it's, I mean, it's a narcissism way to think. But I'm taking the sacrifice, like being the trigger. I am. I'm, I'm taking the sacrifice so you can go live in the paradise world because my ugly ass ain't gonna get no Martha. But the question is too: in the new world, does Adam slash Jones do they even exist? Because it could very well be that world where Mickle never goes through the war or never goes in the tunnel, never goes back to back in time and comes Michael. None of that exists. So therefore, Jonas never exists. And Adam's like, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get there. There's Martha. So that point is, like, yeah, it is somewhat of a sacrifice. It's like I'm I'm eliminating my own existence yeah. from life. Period. So that Martha can live. And Martha and does live over there, and she looks like me too because we both travel, so we both get along. We both look. Scrumptious. But then if that's the case, who the fuck? If he never exists, then who made her that spherical time machine? I was like, I made it. I've been there, baby. I don't know. <laughs> a million questions. We can go on this. This could be later, like a two-hour discussion. Um, but yeah, masterpiece. Can't say that enough. Dragon certified. Fucking hit it. And there you have it, guys. Another one in the books. The real question is, of course, what did you guys think in there in Dracula Land? Um, again, 
Thank you guys so much for taking this ride. We can't wait to finish this journey with you through season three. We has been amazing. Um, whether it's been laughing at us, how wrong our theories are, complimenting us, how we get shit right on accident, um, the, the the tidbits, the ones, the, the fans of the that live in Germany that probably have a much deeper connection with this show. All your feedback has been well appreciated, but of course, what'd you guys think of the season finale? Um, how excited are you guys to see our reaction to season three? Do you guys agree that season three caps all this off and it solidifies it as the best show ever made? Leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, join the Dragon Squad, and remember, it doesn't matter if you're up the Fire Squad or the Ice Squad, at the end of the day, when you're a dragon, you're a dragon. That's the end of the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We are Reaction Dragons. I am Ember, the Blaze, and I'm Glacier, the Iceborn. And until next time, we'll see you next time. time.